Good morning. Happy Camping Tuesday, June 20th. We are on our way to check out another state park. It's Cuyuca Lake State Park, and it's the one that starts with a K, not a C. I guess people get them confused all the time. And we're headed out. We're going to spend three days there, see what it's like. It's part of the Finger Lakes south of Rochester. We'll take a look and see. We've got the puppies in the car. Let's take a look. Alrighty, ready to head out for Cayuga Lake State Park, another New York State State Park. Ranger isn't too pleased this morning, but he's ready to go. And Watson thinks that he's going to get to stay there. Ain't happening. Our original site was waterlogged and the girls of registration were great about letting us find a drier one. We ended up at site 28, large, with lots of foliage on either side and I can recommend both adjacent sites is just as nice. Parking seemed to stress the dogs worse than me, so we decided it was time for a nice walk to calm us all down. Hi, good Tuesday morning from Cayuga Lake State Park. I'd love to give you guys a little look at the size, once again, of all of these campsites. Beautiful, and what a gorgeous morning it is also. Doggies have been out, but rangers went and barked at people, so I'm putting them away and going for a walk myself. Let's see what it looks like. It's easy walking on the paved road around the campground. The road is perfect for bike riding. All of the sites here run from big to huge, and they are surrounded by trees and other foliage. This place can easily accommodate families or large groups. There's several paths around the edges, and I took one to find my way to the lakefront. It was a pretty walk, but it would have been easier, and less mosquitoes, to take a car or a bike using the campground road. Once there, though, the lakefront area is beautifully maintained. Lots of open areas, picnic tables, benches. It has a swimming area, and even a lifeguard at times, and an impressive playground. It is one of two playgrounds I found on my walks. Definitely would be a great family afternoon destination. Without a car or a bike, it was back through the path to return to my campsite in the Pups. This state park may not be awe-inspiring or have spectacular waterfalls, but as you can see, there's plenty of room to stretch out and enjoy. I hope you'll join the Angry Beagle for its next outing. We'll be leaving the state parks for a private campground that is off the beaten path in Vermont.